In this Flowblade version 2 tutorial I will show you how to quickly edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I recently did a tutorial on editing in Flowblade but there's a newer version out now and this is version 2 and it's a dark theme version as well so I thought I'd revisit Flowblade and just go over some of the points um, on how to edit in Flowblade. So the first thing that you probably notice when you open up Flowblade is that you had a banner come up and asked you if you wanted to edit in standard or film style. It doesn't matter which one you selected because you can change the option of what you're going to use down here. I'll show you in a minute how to do that. But the first thing um, in any video editor, unless you're one of these people who mix match up their uh, frame rates, um, is to actually set up the video editor correctly. So. I'm going to just left click on edit and then again on preferences and the most of what you need to do is in the general tab so I've got this set up right now for HD 1080p 25 frames a second which is what my videos are um, if you left click on this panel here you'll get the options of changing this so for instance, I have got some videos which are filmed at 50 frames per second. If I wanted to set it up for this, I would left click on this. Um, once you've decided what you're setting everything up as, just left click on OK. Now this will probably come up. Restart required for some setting changes to take effect. Mine's not changing, so I won't restart. But if you've changed your frame rate or your sizes, you'll need to restart. Close flow bait down and restart it again. OK. Now, as I said at the beginning, you had this banner come up asking if you want to use standard or film style. If you come to the left of the timer, there's a little flow blade icon. If you left click on this, and then come up to workflow presets you've got the option of going to standard or film style standard is going to be better for doing um, edits where you crossing over your videos so for instance if you were doing a transition or a fade in and out or putting masks on or all that sort of thing whereas film style is very much just linear editing so I'm actually going to select film style. Now the next thing, bring in videos into Flowblade. You can do this by right clicking in this panel here and then left click add video, audio or image and then navigate to the folder that you want to use. But I find a lot of these thumbnails on editors, uh, the internal browsers are hard to sort of see what you've got and if you've got a lot of videos and this is all from one day it can be a bit misleading if you don't want to use them all so you've got a choice you can either copy them in the ones you want to use into another folder you can find your way around and select the videos you want to use and then left click on open or as I prefer to do is in Linux it's just as easy to left click on your file browser and then go to the folder where your videos is stored select the videos and then reduce the size of your browser and drag them into this panel here this media panel So first thing, the next bit you can skip if you want. I prefer, especially when I've got long video clips and I want to find specific points in the video clip to use what they call proxy um, videos. 
Now these are smaller videos of your original. Um, one of the reasons is you don't need to have high definition video when you're working in a viewer this size. So it makes it a lot easier and quicker to edit because you're not using so much processor power. When you come to do your final edit, it'll revert back to the high definition um, so you won't have a loss in the definition of your video. So the first thing I'm going to do is if you just come up to the project tab left click on this and then left click on proxy manager now this box will come up and incidentally you'll need to change this before you render but I'll do that in a minute okay so you've got some presets here this one says half project file size. I'm going to left click on this and actually go to quarter project file size and then left click use proxy media. You'll have to wait for a few seconds. Close this down and then select all the videos that I'm going to use and come to the very bottom of this panel and just above the word media there's a little tab with a couple of strips in it three strips left click on this and then left click render proxy files for selected media and then you'll have to wait for this to finish processing so this is doing one of three I'll come back to this in a minute when it's finished right well that's all my proxies finished and these will all be proxy clips now incidentally proxy clip editing is also very good if you've got 4k video this computer isn't a 4k computer yet if I use proxy clips I can edit the um, videos um, with relative ease um, even though my computer won't play them back but again if you want to check your video after you've edited your 4k video if you put it back into an editor that does proxy clips knock it down to half a percent or 50 percent it will play it back as well anyway that's a, that's a, that's a story okay let's edit some clips double click on your first clip and you should see that it's got a sort of a box in it as well which will tell you that it's a um, proxy clip and as you can see it's quite grainy so you've got some options now you can play your video stop it using the stop button and then sort of set it up but I'm going to use in this instance a drag so as you can see this is dragging across quite quickly now so I'm going to just move this chap so he's out the way and then you've got a couple of tabs here one if you hover the button over it says mark in now you can left click on this or press I on your keyboard so let's left click the mark in box and then I'm gonna drag this over till I get to about here again you can do this by playing the clip so we'll go with this and then left click mark out or press um, O on your keyboard so that's my first clip done. Place your pointer over the viewer, hold down your left mouse button and drag your clip into track one. And this is where the film style comes in handy. So if I drag it in over here, say, just to show you how it works, boom, it goes straight to the beginning. Now obviously I need to be able to see the end of this. And to reduce the size of your track, just roll your middle mouse in or out. So let's make this a lot smaller so let's do the next one and again this is a long clip and I don't want to be playing and jumping forward and that so I want to get to a point where I know I can start so I'm going to just drag this along wall up like that and I want the train to be about there I'm going to mark this in and then I'm going to go to about let's go there and I'm gonna mark it out and again I'll drag this clip into track one always use track one if you're using it this way and I'll just show you again 
straight to the beginning do another one and again you can't even see the train but I just left the camera running so I'm gonna go and drag this along to the trains about I don't know should we place him there again you can play this if you want and do exactly the same but the one thing with flow blade the play button doesn't stop you have to press the stop button but anyway let's mark this one in and take it to about there mark this one out drag it in to track one and there you go and another thing using proxies there's no way could I do this without a proxy um, videos so just to prove a point okay and you can play your video now make sure you're happy with that I'm not going to go through that okay now when you come to render your video if you render your video straight away you'll end up with this very poor quality video so what you need to do is go back up to project left click on this and left click on proxy manager and then make sure you left click use original media wait for the bar to finish doing what it's supposed to be doing and then close the manager and I don't know if you can see this has gone back to its original quality top of the screen there's a render button or down here there's one so let's go up to this one here left click render timeline and I don't know what that means let's go into the render Ah, right yeah sorry forget that go into render I'll just go into the rendered box down here rather than the one at the top so let's decide um, where we're gonna save this so I'm gonna left click on the folder box and for ease I'll just plop it on my desktop give it a title so I don't know done so many of these now <laughs> I'm gonna call it trains encoding format you can change your encoding format you won't be able to change your frame rate so just left click on this so I don't know you've got Apple Pro resolution I'm gonna go for H264 and that's about it there's not really much else you can do on these um yeah the audio is under the presets here so you could no it's all set up yeah presets so that's basically it so all I can do now is left click on render and wait till the videos finish rendering I'll just come back to it in a minute when it's finished rendering okay well the videos finished rendering now so hopefully we should have something that will play hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers